I uh, do want to give a quick update on uh, this airbrush. Um, I spoke to the customer about it and um, suggested that it'd be better to perhaps have a new conversion kit which is the medium conversion and the part number is 50-0165 um, the reason being um, as we discovered the tip was damaged and they would prefer to have a new needle and a new head so everything's new and all matching up um, now I did explain what we found and uh, he did turn around and say that he uses a needle reamer which is a um, for the want of a better word a screwdriver with a point on the end for cleaning out the air brushes now these are made of metal and obviously as we've already discovered with this airbrush um, being over zealous with the uh, reamer it'd been reaming out the tip and that caused the damage um, to the tip because it was forcing the reamer into the tip which obviously splayed it all open and uh, I did ask if he did use other metal objects to clean the airbrush out which he said he didn't um, which is always the best practice because if you start using um, things like metal brushes um, these types of items unless you're extremely careful and if you're going to use these you only brush into just into the colour cup so all you're doing is cleaning the very outlet of the airbrush and that is it you never force it in there and preferably um, you would use something like a, a cocktail stick which is obviously soft and what have you and that will clean out in there um, as well and if you dip that into some uh, cleaner and then go in that will also help and for cleaning out in the colour cup um, use a good quality cotton wool bud you don't want the cheap ones where all the fibres are going to break off and go into the airbrush so a good quality one in some cleaner and clean round in the cup uh, the other one is the plastic um, brushes these the other, the other item you can use is a plastic paintbrush um, we don't want to use the ones with the metal ferrule on because obviously that will scratch around in your colour cup and you don't want to go mixing the paints or whatever in the colour cup with anything metal again that will bend the needle if you're too hard with it and it could also damage the colour cup itself and in time you will never be able to get the colour cup nice and clean because it will all be scraped up and scratched up and what have you and uh, that is not the idea so a cheap little plastic brush and uh, that does the job as well um, so do be careful um, using metal objects um, the, the customer of this airbrush asked how I clean the tips out and I did say I would use a old needle that has been filed down and very very gently never ever using any force just to very very gently and I'm trying to get this into the camera and it is very gentle just to push out any bits of dry paint that may be in there but never ever pushing it all the way through because that could end up damaging the tip 
and the same with the bigger tips again we can just clean these out after the bin in soak overnight and just very very gently push out any dry paint that may be in there never again force anything pushing it through and it's always with a in this case an old needle that was bent and I've just sanded the end down so it's gone to an even finer point and um, using that again please be careful how you're using if you have to or you prefer to use metal objects to clean your airbrush because eventually it will cause damage and that is the last thing you want. I shall now lubricate this airbrush up, get it back to the customer and uh, thank you for watching. I hope you do find these videos helpful and informative. Uh, this is the reason why we do them, to try and help you guys keep your airbrushes working. Again, thank you for watching.